Today we're working on a 289 Ford for Chris from No Nonsense No Hail. We were able to save the block at 30 over. These old 289 blocks are usually really wore out bad. And a lot of times where the piston changes direction up at the top, we can't get them cleaned up at 30. But this one cleaned up at 30. I don't know if you can see that, but you'll see the 30 degree down here and then the 45 up top. And the back cut means a lot. If you put the head on a flow bench with just a straight 45 compared to with back cuts, it means a huge difference. The 30 degrees are usually done with the lower lift cams. You'll see it on the flow bench. If you have like a 700 lift cam and you're putting a 30 degree back cut on it, you'll see the low lift numbers suffer. With a 700 lift cam, you normally put a steeper back cut on it. it. Depends on the lift. That's why I don't want to tell you 32, 34, 36, 38. Gotcha. Uh, but the real low lift cams, you want to put a low, you know, a, a 30 degree angle on it because it picks up down low and that's where it's at, down low. Because they only have like five, 480 to 500 lift. So you don't want to kill the low numbers when you don't have that much, you know, num numbers to go up. If there's always there's always a compromise. You know what I mean? Either you're you're taking the low lift numbers away, or you're taking the high lift numbers away. And in a race car with a high with a big cam, you usually have a stall speed in it anyway, and you're you're bringing the RPMs up, and you're trying to use it, you know, at at the maximum of, of the cam. And the low ones, you, you have hardly any torque converter. Uh, you know, there, there's there's not there there's, it's not there. So you need all that low lift. Gotcha.
pretty. It's a four-speed Mustang, and he basically just wants a fairly mild build that he could drive around and have no issues with it. So we basically build like a Hypo 289, but with a hydraulic lifter cam, and let's see how it goes. When we fired this 289 up, the filter swelled up and pushed the O-ring out of it and made a horrible mess, oil all over the place. The only thing that would do that is if the pressure relief valve was stuck in the pump. It's a brand new Melling oil pump. So we're gonna have to pull the pan off it, drop the pump. I'll take the cover off and see what's going on with the pressure relief valve. Ow. Oh, there it goes. It was, it had something. It's not stuck now. It seems to be working smooth now. I took the pump apart and lo and behold, the pressure relief valve was stuck. I pushed on it a couple times, it came free. I pushed it open and closed a couple times, put it back together, everything is fine. Started it up, broke in the cam, all good. to 5,000 and it's going up. That ain't bad, it's gonna be pretty good. That was only 5,000, so it's still going straight up. 310 good. foot pounds of torque. So it's good motor, good little motor. Oil pressure looks good. It's like a 
289. Wow. Even at the 309 foot gravitator, the number's hot. Down here it's a little fat, then it starts getting a little leaner as it goes up. So what, you would bring up the secondary, you what, like two sizes? No, I think it's okay because it, that's only a 12 9. It's one, it's one less than that. It's pretty oh, okay. good. Down here, down low, it's like 12 0. It's a little rich down here. And uh, pretty good right here, but it's not it's not very far off. I leave it alone. That looks pretty good. What about timing? Are you gonna play that? Timing, we'll play with that up and down with Chris is here. But it looks pretty good. Two hundred and eighty-one horse. Two eighty-one. Hey, yeah. that's three hundred and five foot pounds of torque. Yeah, I see that. That's pretty damn that's good for a little two eighty-nine. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And look how nice it idles. Yep. Yeah. No, that's so. If anybody, if you didn't already tell you guys, I when I dropped this off, I said just looking for a fresh engine, nothing crazy, just look, you know, basically stock, maybe a stock high po two eighty-nine yeah. and similar. So that's. See how it runs when I get it in the car. Oh, it, it should run really good. Does it have a four speed or a three speed? Four speed. Originally oh, it was a three speed. Nice. Yeah, and I, I grabbed a four speed top loader out of the oh, car wow. that I, I uh, like a I, small shaft top yeah, loader. Yeah, yeah. It's a wide ratio too, so yeah. it should, should be a nice driver. Oh, yeah. You know? oh, yeah. And this car is what year? It is a 67. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't even messed with it, so I'm really excited. That yes. It's been so long since I touched it, so oh, yeah. I feel like it's been like six months a year, I don't oh, know, yeah, it's, it's been a while. The nice thing with the HEI and all, you hook up 12 volts to it and start it. Yeah. The fuel line. Yep. And start Simplicity. So I would say, let's check the, uh, see where I have the timing. All right. And let's see if we can go up with that. See if it makes a difference. Better than expected on Chris's 289. A high po 289 makes 271 horse, and we got this up to 290 horse. It didn't miss a beat. Sounded great. It made over uh, 300 foot pounds of torque. So with a four speed behind it, uh, in a little 67 Mustang, 
it should run really nice. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That's me on the bed. Happy birthday, dear Lorenzo. Happy birthday to you. Not yet. Right. Don't spit. There we go. Yay! Woo! Beautiful. There we go.